Yeah, Ciara, there are a couple of problems in this location. One, people are driving way too fast. Also, there's not a crosswalk here. Honestly, I'd be psyched with any change that could happen. Brendan Holland lives in the East Forest Park section of Springfield, but works downtown. He rides his bike to work as much as possible. There's really no good way for me to bike to and from work. There are just less bad ways. State Street near the Springfield Public Library is considered particularly dangerous for pedestrians and bicyclists. Just last month, two people were killed in separate pedestrian accidents along this stretch of road. Springfield DPW is working with MassDOT now to make safety changes to the street. People are speeding like crazy through the city of Springfield. Officials are hoping to slow traffic down by reducing the number of lanes here on State Street from four lanes to two lanes. They also want to implement a crosswalk in this area, but this one would be a little bit different. It would be raised in order to slow people down. Also, a flashing light. We want to put out cones, barrels, barricades, uh, etc to mimic what we anticipate the roadway layout to be so that we, along with police, can get an idea of what we're looking at for traffic problems and what needs to be tweaked. In the spring, crews will begin the process of narrowing a section of State Street and installing the raised crosswalk. Also, I really hope that the city doesn't focus on this one intersection uh, because we really need a larger change across the entire city to make everything safer for, for people in all of our neighborhoods. It's going to cost just about $650,000 for this project to be completed. In the meantime, Springfield police are going to continue their stepped up efforts to pull people over if they're speeding. Working for you live here in Springfield, Don Shipman, 22 News.